Hey everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to 2015. I'm going to kick this year off with some simple quick tips that are going to make your life a whole lot easier if you're doing mobile website design especially. And uh, this has to do with hyperlinks. And these hyperlinks here are going to link to an email message, a phone call, uh, and a text message. And we're also going to talk about uh, downloadable files and, and linking to downloadable files, uh, at least doing so directly through Adobe Muse. If you want to use a third-party hosting service, there's always that. But I just want to clear a few things up about uh, doing it through Adobe Muse itself. So let's first talk about email messages. If we want to set it up so that people can click on this email us button and immediately be brought directly to their email composer on their device, whether it be the mail application on a Mac or Outlook on a PC or the mail application built into a smartphone, we don't seem to have a choice for that up here under hyperlinks. But the way this works, it's actually very simple. Uh, if we type out mail to with no spaces, followed by a colon, that's the two dots above one another, followed by the email address, so I could do mail to mail at museresources.com. Now, that email button, that email us button, is going to link to the computer or to the smartphone's built-in mail application, and it's going to automatically address an email to that email address. Uh, let's test it out real quick. I'm going to preview this in the browser. And you'll notice a few cool things happening on this page that we're going to talk about in a minute. I've added some widgets to museresources.com that are going to give you that Ken Burns effect that you're seeing up above and these rounding buttons that automatically round when you mouse over them. But let's test out this email us button. There we have it. I click on it and it automatically opens up a new mail message on my computer. It would work on an iPhone or a mobile device as well. And uh, the subject line is ready for me to fill in. Now the really cool part is if we go back to Muse and I go back to my hyperlink to edit this hyperlink. Um, now I do want to edit the hyperlink so I'm going to select it so it fills in here. You can add question mark followed by the word subject equals and then you can type in what you want the subject line to say. So I could say equals I have a question. And that's all part of the hyperlink. So now when I go back and I preview this in the browser, when we click on email us, see it automatically filled in I have a question and it automatically brought the cursor down to the body of the message. So it's a really handy way to get people to email you uh, and have it address you the way you want to be addressed or in a way that you want to identify uh, why they're contacting you. Some people are not clear about their subject and it's hard to tell uh, if you have several websites which website they're even contacting you through. So the automatic subject line can be really really helpful to identify where these emails are coming from. Uh, the call us button and text us button are just as easy. So for call us, what we're going to do is for our hyperlink, we're going to type T-E-L colon, and then I'll type in a random bogus phone number here. And uh, this is more geared toward mobile devices, of course, a mobile phone uh, that can dial directly out. If you're talking about a Mac that's running a modern operating system, the Mac can actually interact with these buttons as well. So if I preview this in the browser, I am on a Mac running the latest operating system, Yosemite. And if I click on Call Us, it actually integrates with the FaceTime application, and it allows me to make that call directly from my computer. So that's really cool. But again, it's more geared toward uh, mobile design for smartphones. And uh, of course, text messaging is is as well geared more toward mobile design. So how does that work? That's a similar type of hyperlink. That one is SMS colon, followed by the number. I'll do 555-9494, bogus number. And now when I preview that in the browser and click on it, being that I'm on a Mac again and not a mobile device, uh, the Mac is going to try to figure it out. It looks like there's no application that can handle that on my Mac, but uh, that's okay. That's, that's totally fine. This is definitely more for mobile design. So I wouldn't even bother using the text us button or creating a text messaging button uh, unless it's on the mobile version of your site. And uh, again, you can create mobile versions of your website by visiting your sitemap and then clicking on phone or clicking on tablet, whichever device you're looking to design for. But we can talk about that in a different video more in depth. So here we've got our text message button, our call button, our email button. One more note about the SMS button is that you can add to the end of the SMS question mark body equals and then you can type in what you like the body of the message to say uh, like I want 
to hire you or something like that. And then it'll automatically send that, well, it won't automatically send the text message, but it'll automatically compose it on the mobile device with that already filled in as the text message. So that's really cool. And then down here, I've got another button that says download our brochure. And with that button, you can click on the hyperlink menu and you can add a file. You're able to link directly to a file. And then that file will automatically be uploaded when you publish your site. A couple of notes about that. Uh, sometimes you add a file and it gets added and it gets uploaded and you change your mind about it. Let's say you don't want it on there anymore. When you add a file for upload, whether you do it from here on the hyperlinks menu or you do it from file add files for upload same result it gets added and uploaded with your site uh, where those end up is under assets on the assets panel so i could see here i've got my vector versus raster dot zip file uh, that was just an experiment and that is now deletable there's a little trash can at the bottom of my assets panel so if you don't want to upload that anymore you can do that and the next time you publish it'll actually delete it from the server as well which is really cool and that word assets that's a word to remember because if you're ever linking from another site to your site that you've designed in Adobe Muse, your site that you've designed in Adobe Muse has the URL associated with it, like museresources.com, for example. And uh, with that, if you've uploaded an asset and you want to link to it, it's going to be the domain name. So, for example, museresources.com slash assets slash the file name. It automatically creates, Muse automatically creates a folder called assets and it puts all of your uploaded assets into that assets folder. Um, so you can link directly to it from other sites very easily. So that's pretty cool. You guys might have noticed when I previewed this in the browser too, just to talk about these widgets for a moment, uh, you'll notice I got this Ken Burns effect going up here on my slideshow. And you'll notice that these buttons animate as I mouse over them. Uh, another thing is when I drag to highlight text, it highlights in a custom color uh, that's matched with the branding on the site. And another thing is when it first loaded, when this page first loaded, there was also a preloader where the whole page faded in. And uh, all of these widgets, all these things here, I've just got lined up here on my page. These all just get dropped in from the library panel here. And these are all free downloads from museresources.com. I created all these as code widgets, which have customizable options that make it really, really easy to use these and really easy to customize the, the timing of things like the Ken Burns effect. You can slow it down and speed it up. Um, with the custom highlight color here on the text, uh, it affects the text on the whole page, or if you use it on a master page, it affects the entire website. And you can go and you can change these things. You can go and change the color uh, for the custom highlight. You can go and you can change the GIF animation that appears on that preloader as the page is loading. So a lot of exciting stuff. I've created all this, and I just wanted to give you guys a preview, because on museresources.com, uh, you can't see a whole lot of what those things do before you download them. So I just wanted to give you guys an introduction to that stuff. And um, with these rollovers, these rollovers are really cool. Uh, if you go to museresources.com, I've created a bunch of different buttons that you can download on the library widgets page. And when you visit that page and go down here, there's the rollover transitioner. Uh, there's this full screen video background. Uh, the automatic Ken Burns effect is here. All this cool stuff is here. So you can just go and download that stuff for free. And then down below, there are all these buttons that work with that rollover transitioner. So get the rollover transitioner and then head down here and download these buttons. You'll know which ones are designed to work with the rollover transitioner because they say animated rollovers underneath them. So go get those and they work really, really well. They're, they're super cool. Just being able to animate something with no effort whatsoever is obviously a pretty cool thing. It gives the site a lot of fit and finish. And you'll find museresources.com got a little bit of a redesign with your feedback. You guys have provided me with some great feedback and I've implemented that. And with that, now that I'm building these widgets, uh, please send me your ideas for widgets. I mean, if you guys have a request for a widget uh, that you're unable to make yourself and you'd like me to create it, um, I, would be, I would be glad to give it a shot if you guys have some sort of idea of what would make a cool widget. So give me that feedback and give me any other feedback you have about museresources.com or these tutorials. I love to hear it. All right, guys. I hope these tricks were helpful.